Hi everyone, it's John Mitchell. In today's video, we're going to look at Locke and Latham's goal setting theory. So what we're doing is continuing on with our motivation theories and Locke and Latham's theory is about, is about motivating employees through goal setting. So what they found is that goals actually lead to motivation within employees. However, not all goals are equal. So some provide higher levels of motivation than other types of goals. And so the whole theory is about, well, what are the attributes that actually need to be in place when we, when employees or businesses set goals in order to provide motivation for employees. So what they found that to successfully provide a high level of motivation, five key attributes needed to be present within set the goal setting in order to provide that motivation. So the five attributes that are involved in goal setting in terms of Locke and Latham's theory are clarity, challenge, commitment, feedback and task complexity. So we're going to go through each one of those attributes individually so that hopefully you gain a really good understanding of Locke and Latham's theory. The first attribute is clarity. So what Locke and Latham found is that it's really important that goals are clear and specific for either the group or the individual employee that they're being set. So very vague goals like do your best or you know just even improve sales are not clear enough for the employee. So they can question the employee isn't really clear on exactly what they need to achieve when they need to achieve it by. So what's more important is a specific goal such as increase sales by 8% within the next quarter. What that does is give clarity around what the goal is, the individual or the group know exactly what they need to achieve and they know what they're going to be measured against and therefore it helps provide the motivation towards the achievement of that specific goal. The next attribute is challenge. So what Locke and Latham found was that there was a direct correlation between how challenging a goal was and how much motivation it actually created. So more challenging goals create higher levels of motivation than easier goals. So the easier the goal is, the less motivation that is created. The harder the goal is, the more motivation that's created because all of a sudden the employees looking to challenge themselves and see really see how good they are and they're motivated towards the achievement of a challenging goal. So something like increase sales by 8% in the next quarter like we looked at before that may be a challenging goal for each individual for this particular individual whereas get within 10% of last month's sales maybe that's too easy and so the employee may just, you know isn't really motivated towards achieving that and they found that's a direct correlation between how challenging a goal is and how much motivation it provided for the individual employee. So one of the difficulties with this attribute is to find a challenging goal for each individual employee or even within a group because every employee is different. One employee may find a goal challenging and be motivated by that while another, another employee may find that goal easy. So it's very difficult to find the balance for each individual or even the individuals within a team. The next attribute is commitment. So the more committed an employee is towards the achievement of a particular goal, the more motivated they will be to work towards that particular goal. So in order to gain commitment, there's a number of ways that they found can actually achieve commitment. So things like, well, the first one is a manager assigning the goal, so actually deciding on what the goal is themselves and assigning it to an employee, but providing a rationale about why it is that the employee should be achieving that goal. So therefore, the employee can feel compelled to achieve it because they understand why it's actually been set for them. Another way is that the manager can actually set the goals collaboratively with the employee. So sitting down and working out, well, what, so the individual health the employee has a say in what the goal is but the manager is there also to ensure that the individual or the employee goals are aligned with the overall business goals which is really important. The next attribute is feedback. So Locke and Latham found that regular feedback actually helps maintain momentum towards the goal and helps the employee keep on track towards that goal that they're trying to achieve, and which helps improve the motivation. Now feedback should be constructive. So it can't just be, you know, oh, you're doing great or anything like that. It should be constructive feedback that's actually providing the employee with information that they can use to help them work towards that goal. So if performance is below the desired standard and they're not actually achieving the set goal, feedback can help provide that motivation to improve performance and again working towards improving their performance towards the actual goal that they're looking to achieve. The final attribute of Locke and Latham's theory is task complexity. So we spoke before about challenge and how the more challenging a goal was, the more motivation it actually provided for the employee. However, what Locke and Latham found also is that tasks should not be so complex that the employee doesn't expect that they can achieve it. So it's one thing to set a challenging goal, but if the employee, the tasks are so complex that the employee doesn't have the skills or the knowledge in how to achieve it, 
it won't only lack motivation, it can actually hurt motivation towards a particular goal. So if an employee doesn't have the skills to achieve a particular goal, training or other support should be provided for the employee so that they can help them work towards that particular goal that's been set for them. And then that contributes towards motivation and achieving that challenging goal. So just to recap, Locke and Latham's theory is a goal setting theory on how goals can actually provide motivation for employees and it's based on the five key principles of clarity, challenge, commitment, feedback and task complexity. And it's crucial that all of those five elements are involved in the setting of goals in order to provide a high level of motivation. So for questions, activities and to find out more about our Unit 4 and exam preparation lectures then come on over to teachingbubble.com.